Hi, I'm Lucy. I'm the mother of one seven-year-old child, referred to as the kid for the purposes of this podcast. My hobbies include talking trash, having anxiety, and thrifting. Hi, my name is Hannah. We're a family of four. My kids are two and four, almost five. I'll call them L and R, and in my spare time, I enjoy talking, trash TV, and long walks on the beach. Just kidding. But we are a family that loves beach days. Hi, I'm Brandon, father of three under five. I will be referring to them as Michelle, Rose, and Junior. I went to film school, and now I do a podcast. Isn't life funny? Welcome to the show. Okay, I have a story. I have a story to tell you. Is um, it about Blink-182? <laughs> no. Well, it could be. Oh. <laughs> I, I have that too. Did you hear their new single? I don't know. I'm, I, when Brandon was talking about like someone who like gets up and listens to all the new albums, that's me. Friday, first thing I do, check the my release radar on Spotify, and then I listen to all the songs that like I'm interested in, and check all the new albums that come out, and... Oh, is that how that works? New is, that album? How, is that how Spotify does that? Like, it's just like, or anything? So you like, you go... can just. Is it Fridays that are usually things that are getting. Okay. Good? So oh, it oh. used to be Thursdays, right? Music used to come out on Thursdays? I'm asking you because I don't know. <laughs> I'm okay. Does anybody remember, like, CDs used to come out on Thursdays? Like, you could go to Sunrise on Sunrise, HMV or Sunrise on a Thursday and buy the new CDs? No? No, nope, just me. I'm going to okay, take cool. your word for it. No, um, no, but I bought CDs. My no. town was way too small to have a store like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. No, I. <laughs> we had a sunrise We didn't have at the any like restaurants. I absolutely <laughs> remember going and buying CDs and everything, and when and knowing when albums are coming out. I just can't. I don't remember what di- like if it was a Thursday release okay. and stuff. So it used to be Thursdays. Yep. And okay. I'm 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 going with this piece of information because it's what I remember and it's what mm-hmm. Sterling remembers because we were just talking about it. So it used to be Thursdays, okay. and then I thought it was Friday. Now I thought it was Fridays, but then today. Two new Blink songs came out and Arkell's new album came out. But then I got an email being like, Arkell's, like, save the the album to be entered into a contest or something. And I'm like, but I have the album. I don't need to save it. Pre-save it. It's already on my phone. Yeah. Um, can't... I... Uh... I'm pretty sure digitally. Like, I, I feel like that used to be, like, for marketing... And, like, have your release. Everybody shows up on Thursday yeah. to buy the CDs. Yeah. Make sure it's there. I, but, like digitally i think you can pick to release any day that you want it does like there's no like release day anymore and people just choose whenever they want but um like spotify has their new music fridays yeah and so it's like all the new music that has come yes, out that's when like, the that's when it. the release thing gets updated but I, every every album that i have been interested in in the last little while has come out on a friday so i don't know okay all right, so they moved to Friday. It's thrown you off. Yeah. It is. Anyway, the new Blink singles are excellent. In case anyone okay. was wondering, I'll check. Is them that out. today? All right, I haven't. I haven't. Yeah, the two two new songs today, and then the, uh, the 20th is, of October is the That's album. When the new right, album comes out. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, they've been. Tom has been saying that it's uh it's the best. It's it's like, would you believe that this is the best we've ever been, or this is the best album we've ever had? And I'm just like, nah. I think it's you're just happy that people are talking about you. I but don't know <laughs> that it's the best because for me, like the like the oh, Adam of the State and like Dude Ranch are very like oh. of the era, and like I listen yeah. to them, and I'm like a teenager again. But these songs are pretty good. That's They're good. good. They remind me a lot of like self titled. But that's their masterpiece anyway. for me. That's their. That's like I. That's that's an incredible. Not just for them. That's like an incredible like pop punk. Yes. Album. Yeah. Like that's just like the. It's just very 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 very. And good. And then after that, they like all they went downhill a lot. Like neighborhoods is kind of California is kind of. I don't know. I never really listened to them, but. Well, yeah, they they broke apart. Like that was like the peak of their creativity and then it's yeah. like the next album they didn't record in the same place they all recorded their stuff separately and they just kind yeah. of mashed it all together like they weren't yeah. doing stuff together and then they broke up so like self-titled is like the peak of them is like the last uh, before they just go on to that crazy downfall and then they break yes, apart and, and then, then they break up and, and then, then they hire whatever his Matthew name Skiba. was that's it you know it and uh An alkaline yeah. trio yeah and i never uh and i never listened to those albums uh it's tough with it's tough if you're like a band 
or just if you're a group of people that are doing something together, but we'll just use a band as an example. The more people that are in the band that if you pull one out and you replace them, it's like the percentage of, of change is a lot lower. So like if something like a band like Slipknot that has like nine members in it, yeah. the bassist passed away, so they replaced the bassist. The drummer yeah. left the band or the drummer passed away, so they replaced... But it's still like, you know, it's only like 11 or 12% of the band is like changing yeah. each time that they... Yeah. When it's like something like blink when it's the th- when it's a trio and you remove one of them it's like a, it's third, like a third of the yeah. band is now gone like it's like well, you know your, also, your your guitarist is gone so for me i just feel like it's not really the same it's band. also um like impacted by the fact that he was the lead like co-lead singer yes. right and then they replaced him with the lead singer of another band and if you listen to as I did, Blink-182 and Alkaline Trio, and then you're hearing the lead singer from Alkaline Trio sing in Blink-182, it's like, it's it, it, it they're not Blink-182 anymore because they're like this weird, like, combination of the two bands. It's like yeah. they should have just, just, like, put on Blink-182 on hiatus and then, like, started a new band. Yeah. Which is what they, all, all three of them did that anyway. But, like, if they had replaced, and they did replace, like, Travis was a replacement for the original mm-hmm. drummer. Mm-hmm. You, it, you notice it, but it's not as like in your face as when like all of a sudden the singer is different because sure, they sound different, of, of especially course, when they're a recognizable voice. Yeah. So yeah, I, and I would say that Travis is definitely like he's such an unbelievably phenomenal drummer that it's like even though the other guy was very good it's like it's travis barker like everyone says that he's probably one of if not the best drummer in the world so you're just like it's very very current drummer yeah current yeah 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 like current like it just yeah there's other neil pert passed away and he's the greatest drummer that's ever lived so that's that that's that's (laughs) that's that's un i'll fight anybody i'll fight anybody on that so that's the bar but travis is is very very good so it's just if you're making a it's as harsh, but if you're making an upgrade in that sense, like where you've you've got someone that's better now that's stepping in, um, it's tough to to it's it's better that way, and it's again it feels better. Oh, what an upgrade! But taking out Tom and putting in Adam is like it's it, you're completely right. It's a completely different thing because it's not even about skill anymore. It's about sound. It's literally about mm-hmm. the style of the band and what how they're speaking to you and stuff. And yeah, you're right. It's like half of the singing is now a different voice so it's like who's speaking to me it's it's mm-hmm. it's like mm-hmm. when Tom, didn't tom not tom uh mark have a mark and travis had a band called plus 44 i bought yep. that album that was and, and 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 that was like i was like oh all right that's that's it sounds like blinkish <laughs> yeah but it's not it's like really boxcar bl- racer yeah and then boxcar, boxcar racer Ra- was was uh tom and <laughs> and travis and like they i oh my god i still listen to that album that but album it, is so good but it's so uh, funny that to me like it's this trio they find travis travis comes in both of them each of them want to do a project just with travis and like other people and not the other one like it's like so like mm-hmm. tom takes travis to go do something without mark and then mark takes travis to go do something without tom and you're just like we should have really predicted Maybe. that they that these are the two guys that aren't like getting along like that the, they're the ones that are having the ego problems because travis always seems to be the one in the middle just going like it's fine like it's it's hannah you're w- w- one of your brothers is a drummer aren't they yeah, he idolized Travis Barker. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He he bought, like, he bought, I'm pretty sure he had his cymbal case that was Travis Barker. It was either the same one that he used or it was his brand or something. No way. Yeah, oh, yeah. Travis Barker stuff all over the place. Really? Yeah. That's so cool. That that's that's Was mm-hmm. he a Blink fan or is he a Blink fan or is it just more if he's just a Travis? Oh, yeah. oh okay, great. Especially at, like in high school. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's their yeah. peak. That's the music. Uh, yeah. That's the music that I grew up with, so. Yep. Same, yeah. I mean, ish, mostly. We had a lot. We Pretty much everything except country in our house. And then it's funny because then my brothers ended up in a country band <laughs> and oh. did very well with it. Uh, anyway, uh, Blink-182 reminds me of Michelle. Oh, really? So, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you remember this, but like bedtime song for michelle was you singing blink when oh i still sing that to, to oh i guess that well, makes sense all right okay sorry no 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 yeah. i just was what making song? Like, i uh 
I sing. I have five songs that I sing to them, uh, for them to go to bed, and it's either um, the two Blink songs are "All the Small Things" and "First Date." Is I'll sing to them. I was at one point singing <laughs> "Feeling This." Um, but not only is that not appropriate, it was also like extremely difficult for me to sing. <laughs> like I was yep. like, because then you had get to the thing at the end where they're they're each singing two different parts that are over top of each other, and my brain just goes, <laughs> "You got to sing all of it, Brandon." And so I'm just like, <laughs> "Of course you do." But yeah, I sing. Uh, I sing two Blink songs. I sing "Where the Streets Have No Name" by U2, because uh, <laughs> that's one of my favorite songs. Uh, oh my and, god! And then I sing. Uh, Southside by Moby, and I sing. <laughs> um, what's the other one? Oh, the other one. Okay, so the other one I sing is No Leaf Clover by Metallica. It's on their. It's on their album that they did when they played with the San Francisco San Francisco Symphony Orchestra. Uh, it's an incredible album, absolutely wonderful. Um, it, one of my favorites, uh, and No Leaf Clover is like an original for that performance. So it's it's my one of my favorite songs. It's my favorite Metallica song. Um, only recently, maybe in the last couple of months, has uh, Michelle started to like occasionally she just be like, "Daddy, can you like sing that song tonight?" Like, and she and I'm like, "Which one?" And she's just like, "It's the one that goes." And then she has started to sing it back to me. Like she'll like actually start. She knows like part of the lyrics and stuff. And then there was one night where I started singing it, and she like turned around and like she faced me, and we just sang it together. And I was just like, "This Aww. is like uh-huh. not just a beautiful moment, but it's like it's working. She's gonna have good taste <laughs> in music." <laughs> Um, but they all so important. They all love. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, well, I don't say they all. Love, they 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 all love uh, where the streets have no name. Um, the, the most they like they and because it's just calming. It's just like and I don't. I, I'm not a good singer, but I sing it in a very monotone way to try to put them to sleep. Like I almost try to sing boring. Like I just try to just like not be enthusiastic with it because then it kind of puts them to 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 sleep. Uh, and it's really really worked. Rose uh, just out of nowhere will just one night just uh, just be no. Like, I'll just like, oh, okay. And then I'll switch. That's what Elle does to yeah, me. Yeah, I'll switch to another no. song. And then she's just like, no. Like, and I'm like, Next. yeah. And th- yeah, that's like 100% mm-hmm. is what she's looking. She's looking at me and she just sees Spotify. Like, she just sees my face. <laughs> and it's just like, she's just, no, I don't want this one, this one. So she's, Rose is really into um, like just the regular songs of like Wheels on the Bus and, you know, uh, Old Mick old mcdonald and that sort of stuff right now so it's kind of a it's kind of weird mishmash right now the concert that i do every night i imagine rose just yelling at you hey google switch songs (laughs) but like at you do you want to get into this because the addiction that she has (laughs) to google is absolutely insane well she just screams google 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 like she just screams it and she doesn't yet know how to say hey like she doesn't understand to say hey google but junior does yeah junior does so junior just walks up and i'll just or I'll hear Junior in the kitchen if I'm in another room just yelling, Hey, go, go! Hey, go, go! <laughs> hey, go, go! But he doesn't know what to do after that. He just thinks that that's yes. the first thing. And when you do that, it'll play music. So Corey and I do different songs, and it's funny. I feel like uh, you and Melissa do as well. Like bedtime songs for me, it's usually like Twinkle, Twinkle, You Are My Sunshine. Um, Elle often requests Baba Black Sheep, which. I change the lyrics for and it's always really awkward because I'm just like trying to make things fit anyway and then Corey sings hosier and like stuff like that things that he's listening to and and but my kids also know like what they are able to request from each of us because I'm singing the like bedtime songs and daddy's singing the like pop music and so they they, they know who which like who they can request what from which is really funny L can't really we we have Alexa in our house and L can't really get it to work all that often so he gets R to do it for him he'll be like do this for me put this song on and they Oh okay and it, so that's how it works That's how they do that's teamwork nice. you know, over here but the you should see the playlist in our place it is wild yeah, all over yeah. the map like the the current go to which is like and I cannot turn it up loud enough for them. And I keep telling them, like, there is a limit because I need to save your eardrums. Um, mm-hmm. Who let the dogs out? That is on repeat over here right now. 
which is hilarious. They play it at school for Rose and Junior. Um, and now if you do that to them, if you go, who let the dogs out? They all go, who, who, who? Like they, they <laughs> it's, it's so cute. They'll do it back to, yeah, it's really funny. Uh, yeah. So they, yeah, the, it's starting with those. Those are the songs that like last forever because kids discover them and then they can sing them. Like mm-hmm. there's, there's something there that that song as, 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 as much as adults make fun of it, there is something that like endures because kids at this age will then continue to sing it year after year because it's one of the first songs that they can yeah. understand. It's 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 like the transition from going from baby songs to like listening to Baby Shark to listening to Who Let the Dogs Out. It's like there's actually yeah. a very close connection there, and then that leads you into like whatever the next stage is and stuff. So those songs won't go anywhere. Like they just yep. they will continue because kids love them. Yeah, it's like Ghostbusters. That's the other one. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Ghostbusters they love, is, like, because yeah. who are you going to call? They yeah, can yeah, yell yeah. it. Yeah, it's the yeah, repetitiveness. Exactly. Yeah. Um, the kid Interact. really likes uh, Benny and the Jets. Like, that was his first, like... Yeah, I remember that, yeah. Adult song. Yeah, adult song. Like, we had this, like, keyboard um, xylophone piano thing. And, I don't know, Sterling just started, like, smashing the keys and going, like, Benny and the Jets. And the kid just got, like, instantly, like into the song and just wanted to hear it on repeat just constantly and it's yeah. still like high rotation on his playlist and I, and he sings it and it's <laughs> it's so funny is um it? yeah watching him sing it is is and dance to it like ever since he was oh two i think yeah he's been like into it and dancing to it and like he asks the google to play it and yeah what i find hard about like getting google and alexa to play for kids is like the way that my kids request the songs like they don't know the titles of it other than who Mm -hmm. let the dogs out which for some reason alexa or actually siri just ignores me in the car um (laughs) like she's just no she puts like i'll request that song and then she's putting on a song called like um nothing with about dogs at all and it's always just like now playing a beautiful day and i'm like what like how is this the same um but like one of the favorites in our place i don't know if you know the ben rector um living my best life and uh it's this guy who wonderful wonderful artist and um but his album cover is him with like a little monster creature thing and so the kids request the monster song Mm. And it's like, oh, okay. you, you yeah, got yeah, like yeah, yeah. nobody, like if you came over and my kids were like, play the monster song, you're like, what is that monster mash? Like it would, you would never know that it's like an actual song, an adult song. And so it's, it's a lot of figuring out and the way, like my kids request songs in the weirdest ways. Like they sing part of a song and like the hot damn song, obviously that is, uh, what is that song? Um, you guys know oh, the, song? the Bruno Mars. Oh, the Bruno That's Mars the song. Bruno like yeah, Mars. yeah, 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 yeah. Like a hot damn song. Come on. What, anyway, Uptown Funk. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah. Or is, it, oh, is yeah. that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. They call it the <laughs> hot damn song. <laughs> to the point now where you don't know what the actual title I of that song is anymore. <laughs> it's just like I don't know. It's the yeah. hot damn song. It's a hot damn. Yeah. It, it's a, yeah. yeah. Um, music has become really big in our house, and. Um, and I've said this before, like that we've got the music player. They love, uh, they love the Google. They want, they always want the 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 Google Home to be like playing something. Uh, it it's 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 repetitive, but I do enjoy watching them discover music. Like I do, it's one of like the joys of like watching kids like learn to move like it's not even dance it's just like learning to move and like what the songs can do like even if it is like a really annoying silly song by whatever artist that all adults like just go oh god not the you know the wiggles the, wi- the wiggles or whatever <laughs> like it did like they're just one example right it's just like whatever, baby but shark. it's like baby shark is it yeah but it just like the artists are those people yeah. that perform that stuff it's like but it is also like wonderful to like see them like p- want to play baby shark because then they like doing the actions and then they like moving and then they like bouncing and then they like to like uh, seeing michelle like discover dancing and like she loves dancing and like when we play i've said this before but when we play like the greatest showman like those songs are like big 
you know, it, it's not a Broadway show, but it's like they're big Broadway type, you know, uh, uh, songs and stuff. And they're just they're really, really. But they have a beat to them. And there's like a build up to um, the first song on that album. And like she just like waits there and she's like listening to it. And then she waits and the song kind of builds up to like a big like, but da da like, you know, and then you jump and then you start dancing. And she like just waits for that one minute intro. And then she runs into the kitchen and then she then she does like her big entrance. And it's like and I love seeing that. I love watching them like want to perform and music doing that because it's really I'll tell you, my singing just doesn't do it for them. So it's like, it's nice to like, it's nice to like see them uh, kind of explore that. It's also nice when they like your music. That's always, th- that's always the best. Like, I, I find it so funny thinking about the, the music that my, my, my parents kind of raised me on and it's just like that music like no one listens to they listened to it when they were growing up so that's the music that I kind of start off with and then I get to discover my own music and obviously we're doing the same thing for our kids it's like here's the stuff that we grew up with that we would like to show you but then eventually they're gonna go off and like the music that you know we all complain about I okay so there's like this rumor that NSYNC is going on tour is it a rumor or is it confirmed? I thought they announced yeah. they were doing a single. I don't know. There's like a new, they're like doing a new song for like a Trolls movie or something. Oh, but Michelle there's like a so rumor happy. that they're going to announce a tour. And I was thinking about it. And there's so many music festivals. Why isn't there just a music fest? They did like the When We Were Young, which was all like emo and like hardcore and stuff, right? Why don't do like a 90s pop one? You could have like. And sing Backstreet Boys, Ninety Eight Degrees. Could Britney you Spears, imagine how much that Spice would cost? Girls. Like, like to pay those those reunion artists. It would like you'd you'd have to split it up just to be able to afford one one per show. You are the right person to like throw these ideas at <laughs> because you shut them down because of your background, like because of where you've worked and stuff. <laughs> I. But why would it be more expensive than any other one? Just because they're more established? Oh, because their like, royalties no, must be well, absolutely you, like. Anyway, sorry, I'm not going to explain yeah. this. So gonna, well, yeah. like they're like they're going to want to <laughs> charge a lot for those though, like those like to pay for those artists to come back. It's going to cost a lot. So and much. so and so you'd have to have a ticket, and tickets are already like concert tickets are oh, so God. expensive. So right expensive. Now, that like if you're thinking like okay, well a reunion is going to cost. I don't know what are what are people paying on average for these some of these reunions? Probably four hundred to a thousand is my guess. Yeah. So like if you put in four or five of those artists, you're gonna have to pay five grand a ticket just because you're gonna need to pay the same amount per artist. But then the people are gonna have to pay or there's separate stages and you can only buy for specific stages that you can go to and stuff. Like, I, I can only imagine that. Yeah. I've never but been to it. can you imagine how cool it would well, be? Well, yeah, would be that's so fine. Cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's, and this is why you hire I love Wayne that. Gretzky for your parties because they do the 90s show and it's amazing. Yeah. And they're so talented, but it, it's a little bit cheaper than hiring the real deal. And you get all of them. Yeah. That's what, well, then, but you know what? that would be cool. You should... Um, uh, Lucy should pitch the idea uh, and just um, pitch it to the music industry just at large just be yeah. like here is just, my yeah, pitch just throw it out into just the ether a, dear <laughs> music industry people uh, why can't I have the concert I want uh, and only pay a low amount yeah I was going to say and I would like to pay a hundred dollars for my ticket front row please uh, front row and I would like yeah. these artists I don't even to be want there front row. In this, you don't even want front row I was going to go now you're I being was picky pay... about your fantasy concert <laughs> festival now you're being I don't even want front row I wouldn't be that much I'm just going to take well, a step back and I'll just you know but yeah I still only want to pay 50 like, bucks <laughs> I need a seat please I can't be yeah these knees can't take it <laughs> these knees can't take it I was gonna go see I was gonna pay like 300 bucks to go see Blink-182 and I was like I need to see it I can't do GA it's I'm not I'm not young anymore yeah I need I need to be able to sit down I went to see Taking Back Sunday and I I was like no can't can't take it I need a seat Sterling was like what why don't we just get general admission I'm like I, I no, nope. my years in mosh pits are over, man. I yeah. can't. The knees can't. But it's take not it. even mosh pits. It's just it. it's just having to stand for that long. Like <laughs> it's just the the, uh, the 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 concerts that I saw when I was younger. Like it's like those bands. I can't. I I I'm I I don't think I'd clear like the health check. Like I think they would do the physical. <laughs> you know when you I would walk up there and they're just like doing they're, security. They'd pat you down and you just crumble <laughs> yeah. into a ball. They would pat <laughs> me down and they would hit my knees and and I would go oh and they'd be like sorry sir we can't let you in. That's that's uh, why I'm. 
not carrying anything. No, but I don't think you can hold your own oh weight God. anymore. I'm just like, you know, this constant. Oh, Brandon yeah. goes through security. Why are you beating me up? I'm just patting you down. Ow, ow, they're so rough, sir. We're, we're... I bruise easily. <laughs> be gentle, be gentle. Um, I've been with Melissa for 10 years. Uh, one of our first dates, we went to a Sky Zone trampoline park. And the, um, so 10 years ago, I would have been 26. So like, I, I, you know, I'm not old but i still walked away from that experience the next day and um i would say probably actually for the next week my legs and my knees like were destroyed like just like completely sore from being on a trampoline for an hour for an hour (laughs) granted granted i was trying to impress her so i was like look at the flips that i can do which i i can do which i am because i grew up uh, uh, with a trampoline so i was able to not grew up but i had it for a number of years and my uh, closest friend had it that's where we did the backyard wrestling so i was very so look at this oh look at this and the people that we were with were like who are you we've never look at you you're so great and i was like look at these backflips oh my goodness he's so athletic and then for the next week i'm just like i can't move out of i need a bath, bath. I, need, <laughs> I need to just stay in the bath like the bath i'll work from the bath yeah but um I don't know. I, I don't know how I, 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 yeah, it being, I would not be able to stand at a concert for, for that long. I, there's just, there's just possibly, there's just no way if I, I'm driving and I'm telling you guys that my neck hurts afterwards. Like, it's <laughs> just like, I've, and I don't, I, and that says nothing to do with my neck. It's all in my arms. But so anyways. our jumped off the trampoline last night. Like that's his new thing is he likes to jump off of things. Actually, there's a couple funny things that he did. So he jumped off the trampoline and he fell this time and he, he hit his leg and, um, he was totally Okay. Um, but I was like, you know what? It was it was bath time for us too. I was like, you know what, mommy and daddy do when we get hurt, we have a tubby, and that that was my way of like getting him into the bath because I'm like, but like yeah. for real, are like when 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 we get hurt, we have to have baths. Like we can't we can't live without it. We're less soaking for a while. Um, but then this morning, <laughs> okay, like his new thing is this is totally off topic, but his new thing is uh, jumping off of things. Like he was my cautious child the one that like was like i'm gonna think about this before i do it ever and he now likes we have the like ikea kura bed so it turns into a loft bed and then we turned it into l's bed is underneath but like sticking out of it mm-hmm. if that can kind of it's like in an l shape anyway so ours new thing is jumping off of his bed onto l's bed um and normally it's like before bed that he's doing that but he did that this morning and he like woke up like we went and got him up and he was like I'm still waking up, mom. Okay. And then he stands up and he's like, I'm going to jump down today. But he's like waking. I was like, before I could even say anything, he like fell and jumping and tripped and like did this whole thing all the way off the loft oh, bed my gosh. onto Elle's bed. And I'm like, it's a good thing there's a bed here because I would have been, he was totally fine. Yeah. Um, but I was just like, before I could even think about saying anything, he was on his way, tripping, jumping off of the top end. I was like, well, maybe we should wake up before we do big jumps off of things. You got to do those. Yeah. You got to get the cobwebs out of those before you can do any of those those, yeah. those, yeah. those jumps. Yeah. You can't uh, yeah. you gotta... shake off the dust. But yeah. they're all into jumping now. They're, they all love jumping off of things and and jumping on, you know, the nuggets like great for that. It's like, but great for them. It's not great for us. Like, it's just like they're jumping from one couch to the nugget and it's just like, stop jumping. They're just going to hurt themselves so bad and I'm just so nervous. They're just danger kids now. Yeah. It's just, yeah, they just don't like to, they just, that's what they, yeah, they just love to do that. They just, they love to, they love danger. They love that thrill. And then they all, why oh, does it hurt so bad? And then you're like, that's because you jumped off of a, anyways, sorry. I won't get, I won't get upset. I won't a few get. weeks ago when we were at your house, Brandon, mm-hmm. uh, and, um, I kept picking Rose up and then I was like holding like the back of her like head and then like dipping her down to the floor and then like lifting her back up. Mm-hmm. And I did it a few times and then I lifted her up and then like I was talking to somebody and she was like trying to like lean back out of my arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh my God, you're going to just throw you're gonna, like tumble out. Yeah. And she was like, do it again. Do it again. <laughs> like throwing herself back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, sh- oh, okay. So you're going to force me into this. Yeah. Right? I mean, you brought it on yourself. <laughs> Yeah, really, yeah, I know. you you showed her some. It's fun. my own fault. I yeah, know. it's my own fault. My yeah, my kids are real little... into danger too. Like it's and we have a similar thing to the nugget, but like 
maybe I should try setting it up again. I feel like if it's, if I set it up, they'd be like, no, 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 this isn't as fun. They need to, they, their newest thing is like, we call it trip trapping anytime they have to walk on like anything that's kind of like a balance beam and they go across the back of the couch and God, my heart just like is like in my stomach every time they're doing it. And I'm like, you're going to fall and land on the coffee table or go backwards. Or, like something's going to happen. And but they and and also like the toddler towers that they had, the little helper towers. Mm-hmm. We have them aside now because they don't really use them anymore. But they play in them. They climb in them. And my brother and sister-in-law were over and they're like, uh, uh. And I'm like, if you get any closer, that's when they fall. You just got to watch. <laughs> and like, you like yep. yeah. slow <laughs> movements towards them. Give them a hand. Don't. don't don't make any sudden movements because they're just they're going to do it anyway. They're climbing oh, on they're, everything and anything. And, yeah. and yeah. there's they, we have boundaries around some things, but there is like they're like the, whatever they can. Don't climb the bookshelves, kids. Well, exactly. When we have one that's like <laughs> because we had our house recently painted, it hasn't been secured to the wall. And we're like, okay, this is off limits. There's nothing on it. So they want to climb it. We're like, this is like, here's our boundary. Like You can't go on that. It will fall. But yeah. So I going to say we went to a cottage this summer that has um a loft and to get to the loft you have to climb up a ladder and it's not like a super steep ladder but it's still a ladder um it's more ladder than it is staircase and then you have to fit through this tiny little hole in the floor to get up into this loft and the kid was obsessed with it and he's like i'm gonna sleep up there and i was like okay like that's great um totally happy uh and it has like um like an opening that like looks down onto like the rest of the cottage with like a railing and i was like that's great like no problem you can totally sleep up there but be careful because it's a hole in the floor so if you're gonna like run around or like dance or whatever you have to put the the plug in the hole otherwise (laughs) be careful and he's like no problem mama i got it i'm not gonna fall five minutes later he fell through the hole (laughs) yeah (laughs) And he was fa- like he didn't fall that far. Someone was there and caught him. Uh, but like he still fell through. I'm not laughing. It wasn't funny. Um, <laughs> You're laughing now. You weren't laughing. <laughs> yeah, he's fine yeah. now. He's still around. He's still around. He's like, he was fine. Yeah. He was fine. And then he was like, I don't think I want to sleep up there anymore. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh, I wonder why. You can still sleep. He- yeah, <laughs> I don't I imagine. Him. Yeah. Um. Uh. Uh, he he did eventually sleep up there but it took some like it's okay like you can totally sleep up there it's fine just remember to put the hole like the plug in the hole and just like be careful about where the hole is remember where the hole is safety first yeah, That's yeah. What my kids always <laughs> and say then, safety first and then like he was really good like every time he went up he put the little hole like the little plug in the hole and like he was really good but i just the the like less than five minutes and he fell <laughs> <laughs> don't worry mom i got this hello yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> it's like a little mario thing they're going through the shoot like, yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah that's yeah yeah your kid loves mario that's he wasn't he wasn't into that oh, he wasn't God. into the falling through the yeah little tunnel it just, oh he's obsessed no we didn't oh well that way, uh, yeah next time he falls through a hole just be like we're uh, in a tunnel um or gets attacked by a turtle uh <laughs> anything <laughs> <laughs> or anything like that just be like remember you're mario that's happened before. you're mario think of what mario would do and then he just jumps on the turtle Ugh. um ours yeah. newest thing is he runs around it's a me a mario like oh does he oh, except awesome. he also says that it's a me a luigi then they both do it and it's hilarious oh that's so, so cute though is that their <laughs> is, really is that funny. their halloween costume this year is there going to be mario and no, luigi no no, no? no all right not okay at all. No, all right well that, uh, just just say yeah, well, no, you I, will get that one day i think i think one year you will get the the mario and luigi thing i just feel like they'll maybe they'll get no it. they are super into it but we went shopping and they and r saw something else so like it's if he could be 15 different costumes he would pick them all yeah like he it's just oh, it was, we went secondhand shopping for his costume and he so he saw a different one and, costume and so change was, yeah I mean, we bought. You gotta like, take a costume change. Yeah, we did buy a few, and <laughs> yeah. but it, this yeah. wasn't an option. I, I think you have to do that at this age. It. You have to because they don't know what they're. You can have this big elaborate plan, and then that oh day they're just like, you know yeah. what? I'd like to dress up as a chef, and you're just like, well, f- I just like. All I right, built here's you- your knife. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which apparently, <laughs> so maybe that's what it is. My kids want to be chefs for Halloween, and they just keep gra- 
grabbing <laughs> knives everywhere. They're just there like, we're getting, ready, we're getting ready, Dad. We're getting ready. Instead, so they just funny. look like these deranged um, kids from like Children of the Corn with like you know these knives, and they're all just like walking <laughs> forward, and they're just like, Daddy, ah! Sorry, go ahead. Just my own fears coming out. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm home alone with them. I'm worried I'm going to wake up and they're all going to be standing around the bed. But anyways, go ahead. I mean, that's not impossible. Thanks. I'm glad that you uh, helped me out there by uh, calming me down. Not with the knives. Just like the, just like the, you know, standing in the the doorway. Oh, that's, yeah. The whole, I don't know what to expect any night now that they're all sleeping in the same room together. It doesn't, uh, it's just a nightmare. Our definitely has my feet. And so there is no quiet entering into our room. It is like, you can hear like, do, 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 all the way down the hall and the door like whips. We just leave the door open now. Like, which Melissa yeah. told me when we lived close to you, she was always like, I can't believe you sleep with the door open. Don't you know that's like a safety thing? Like you got to close the door in case there's a fire. It's like, ours for sure going to break our door by whipping it open in the middle of the night. So now we leave the door open so it's not this big slam. Oh, <laughs> and okay. So the but, oh. um, yeah. Anyway. I always sleep with the door open. Yeah, and, and, and she's right. Like, it's, uh, which, since R is, like, super into fire safety, we've, the fire trucks have come to daycare, but we've also seen them at the gymnastics and these different picnics and stuff. The, like, fire crews come and they have a little, like, practice you go in and they have like the fake smoke and then they tell you you have to get down and then they show you Mm -hmm. how to get out the window and we've r and i have done um practice things around the house and he goes what if there was a fire in the pantry what would we do and we're like well what exits can you still get out of if that one's blocked then where do you go oh my gosh um anyway he's like oh my god you've done all this with your kids you've like been like this is where the exits are (laughs) And uh, this he is knows, where the fire blanket the is. <laughs> grab your grab grab your brother first, and it's just like yep. yeah, it's like you're on a plane and you're like waving it down. He's like, I know where exits A, B, and C is. Like, oh my goodness! All right, geez. he for, he knows all the exits. He knows what to do if he's has to yell out of his window. He knows where to go as like a meeting spot. He knows which houses oh on the street. He 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 knows um, our address and our names in case he needs to tell anybody about say yeah. I don't know. He's, we call him our CSO. He's our chief safety officer. I he's burnt a, chicken pot pie last week and I was, and there was smoke coming from the pan and I was just like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> don't put water on it. Uh, well, oh, a, you tell me that now. It's it. just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry guys. Chicken pot pie. That's a grease fire. Chicken. Don't put, don't put, uh, Water on a grease fire. Yeah, sorry, just I just make it worse. I, I guess yeah. not a chicken pot pie. There no, wouldn't be grease. Okay. No. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, see, this it was, is why it was a j- it was a j- because I don't know anything. Yeah, no, it was a joke, oh, Hannah. Lucy took it okay. way too seriously. She just needs to prove that she knows at least a little bit more fire safety than me. <laughs> uh, you know, but not as much as R. Apparently, not as much as yeah. R. 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 Needs like a hat. <laughs> I don't know anything about fire safety. Yeah, just, uh, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I only oh, know the grease oh, fire thing because I grew up in a British household where my mom used to make chips on the stove in in grease. And fat, and <clears throat> that's the only reason. Oh, got it. Okay. Well, okay. And- Hannah might be right. Don't put any water. You're supposed to like. De- you're supposed to like cover it or like put flour on it. Well, or like a tea towel over top. Okay. Of it. Well, I. Uh- I, f- I flipped the pot pie across the room and then uh, just, and I was just like, I hope this is enough. And then I was like, you know what? And dinner's over there, kids. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah. And dinner's, dinner's over on the stairs, guys. You guys want to go eat over on the stairs? Everybody just wants to grab a fork. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, they, they know would. They where they are. They Don't would. take the knives. <laughs> yeah, but okay. I mean, that's. I mean, that is fantastic that he knows all that, and that is that is real. That is real, real good. I, I, I honestly, yeah, that, it, it's, well, it's good to have that knowledge. And if he's learning it and he's interested in it that early, I mean, you got to cash yeah. in on that. You can't just be like, oh, don't worry, you're too young for this. And you know, no. If uh, he should next stop fire extinguisher, he teach him how to use the fire yeah. extinguisher, and then I'm sure that won't cause you any problems whatsoever. Yeah, <laughs> everybody needs firefighters. Well, wrong with okay, and so. Uh, ours so uh, we are not a religious family um, but so but we wanted somebody like a godparent and so uh, Melissa and Brandon are Elle's odd parents we call them odd parents we don't have godparents Mm -hmm. they're odd parents so Melissa and Brandon are Elle's odd parents but our friends in Ontario are ours odd parents other friends in Ontario and one of them is a firefighter yeah and so ours been exposed to fire station I can't currently 
in the state of things, I don't imagine are wanting to be a firefighter. But who knows what he'll grow up to be. Maybe he'll want to be like his uh, cool uncle. So yeah, who knows? But well, then he can he can grow up and he can teach me fire safety, so I can stop wasting all of these pot pies that I keep throwing <laughs> around everywhere the kitchen. Because what like, did you have for takeout that night? <laughs> That would be my first move. Okay, we're dialing Yeah, You know what? We're just going to call it a day. (laughs) If you enjoyed this episode, please rate, review, and subscribe. If you want to chat with us, slide into our DMs, leave a comment, or email us at the stay at homes podcast at gmail.com. Bye.